everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and this is day 19 of my book Halloween. Let's get going. So we will be talking about like Halloween, spooky, dark means that will be coming out for next year. So I have quite a lot and we will be seeing what's in the boat. So my first one is A Tempest of Tea by Hansa Fazil. The Sweets of Light Warring Arthi. Casimir is a criminal mastermind and a collector of secrets. Her procedures for team him transform into an Ill illegal bloodhouse by dark, catering to the vampires feared by society. But when her establishment is threatened, Arthur is forced to strike an unlikely deal with the alluring anniversary to save it. And she can't do the job alone. My next book is Dead Goes Walking by Sammy Ellis. Temple Baker knows that evil runs in her blood. Her father is a North Point killer, an infamous serial killer known for now for how he mocked each of his victims with a brand. He was convicted for murdering 20 people and was the talk of countless true crime blog for years. Some say he was possessed by demons, some say that they never found all of his victims. Some say that even though he's now behind bars, people are still dying in the woods. But when he confesses to that crime while on death row, she has no choice but to return to his old hunting grounds to try and see if she can find a body and prove it. My next book is Into the Shallows by Tanya Bowen. On New Year's Day, three fishermen haul a teenage girl out of the ocean. By the time they bring her to land, it's clear that she doesn't know where or who she is. Her story goes viral. The meter calls on Nicoletta after the fisherman's boat. The rumors take a dark turn the next time the fishermen head out to sea and fail to return. People say Nicoletta lured them to their deaths, their lives, in exchange for hers. And with that, the mystery becomes a legend. Eighteen months later, Mama Malakar meets Nicolette or Nico at a cafe. The two become fast friends, but as Mama realizes she wants more from the relationship, Nico remains oblivious, focused only on remembering she may not want to, though, could there be a reason she's locked everything behind her door? And once she's brave enough to open it, what will happen to her, to them? My next one is Blood God by Sissy Robson. One hundred years, ten thousands of gladiators, and today only one will rise. My next book is It Waits in the Forest by Sarah Daz. Unlike the other residents of the small Caribbean island of St. Virgil, Selena de Silvia does not believe in magic. Selena used to dream of leaving the island to study pharmacology until a vicious unsolved attack left her father dead and her mother in a coma. Now her guilt over her mother's condition keeps her tethered to the island. Relegated to cunning, gullible tourists with useless talismans and phony protection rituals, but when one of those tourists ends up at the center of a string of strange murders, the, thr the truth that Selena has been denying can no longer be avoided. There is evil lurking in the forest that surrounds St. Millen's Virgil. Another thing that can't be avoided is Selena's ex-boyfriend Gabriel, newly employed at the local newspaper and eager to put his investigate skills to use. Desperate to put an end to the killings and claim justice for Selena's family, these two former lovers raised to find answers, but evil bide its time. And as long as burning feelings and long hidden secrets about Selena's family's past begin to reveal themselves, only one answer remains and awaits in the forest. My next one is We Shall Be Monsters by Tara Sim. Mary Shelley means Indian mythology, where a young woman desperate to rescue her sister escapes accusations of witchcraft by joining a group of rebels on the condition she raises their rightful prince. From the dead. My next one is Off With The Heads by Zoe Hannah Mikuta. The world where saints and monsters and wonderland is the dark forest where they look. It's been five years since young witches and lovers Kato Rabbit and Inkadora Alice Dicker were both sentenced to that forest for a crime they didn't commit, and four years since they shattered one another's thoughts, each willing to sacrifice the other for a chance of freedom. Now Kato is a successful royal estate harvester living the high health life in a glittering capital and pretending not to know of the twist monster experiments that her beloved Red Queen hides deep in the forest, in the bowels of the palace. But for Ika, the memory of Kato's betrayal has hardened her from timid 
going to Mopus Hunter, a hunter who was stuck with nothing to exact her on a cattle, on the queen, on the throne itself. My next one is Into the Certain City by Denise Thuru. The slowly sinking city of Con Conconino, Arizona, the days are long, the money is tight, and the rain never stops. For Jin Halder, this life is nothing new. Ever since her father died in a driving accident, she's barely made ends to meet for her and her younger sister Tara. Enter Phil, and drift to her office Jin and Tara to score of a lifetime, a massive stash of gold hidden in the sunken ruins of Las Vegas. Jin knows it's too dangerous to stop diving after her father's accident. But when her sister goes, goes Jin's left with only one choice, to go with her. A Magda crew is assembled, including Jin's annoyingly hot ex-boyfriend. From there, a high-stakes heist ensures that beyond even Jin's wildest fears, crumbling ruins, sea bees, corsair, and a mysterious figure named Joao jo Silva all lie in wait to survive. Jin will have to do what she promised herself she would never do again. Dive. My next one is An Education of Malice by S.D. Gibson. Deep in the forgotten hills of Massachusetts stands St. Perpetuous College. Isolated and ancient, it is not a place for timid girls. Here, secrets are currency, ambition is lifeblood, and strange ceremonies welcome students in the fold. On her first day of class, Laura Sheridan is thrust into intense academic rivalry with the beautiful and enigmatic Camellia. Together, they are drawn in the confidence of the dramatic poetry professor, Della Fontaine, who holds her dark on obsession with Camellia. But as the rivalry blossoms into something far more delicious, Laura must confront her own strange hungers. Tangled in a sinister game of politics, bloodthirsty professors, and dark magic, Laura and Carmilla must decide how much they are willing to sacrifice in the ruthless pursuit of knowledge. My next one is Murder Road by Simone St. James. July 1995. April and Eddie have taken a long turn until they're lucky for a small resort town when a plan to spend their honeymoon. When a spot one appears to be a lone hitchhiker along the Nazeta Road, they stop to help, but not long after the hitchhiker gets into the car, they see blood seeping from her jacket and a truck barreling down at the coast line after them. And my last one is The Warm Hands of Ghosts by Catherine Arden. January 1980, Laura Iron was a revered field nurse until she was wounded and discharged from the medical corps, leaving behind a brother still fighting in Flanders. Now home in Halifax, Canada, she receives one of Freddy's death in combat, along with his personal effects, but something doesn't make sense. Determined to uncover the truth, Laura returns to Belgium as a volunteer at a private hospital. Soon after arriving, she hears whispers about haunted trenches and a strange hoteler whose mind gives soldiers the gift of oblivion. Could Freddy have escaped the battlefield only to fall prey to something or someone else? And those are all the books that could come out in 2024, so let me know what you're excited for. Halloween, dark, spooky, paranormal vibes. So please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!